From inception, electric vehicle companies have been trying to outdo one another when it comes to engine specs, performance, and even the interior. Very few electric vehicles have at one point or the other broken an EV automobile record, and it seems like another record has just been made. In November 2021 at the Guangzhou Auto Show, the GAC Aeon LX Plus was presented with a jaw-dropping reveal of being the world's first electric SUV with a travel range on a single charge outperforming 1,000 kilometers. This is a huge feat even for the China electric vehicle company, but they have done it. So here's everything we know about the first electric vehicle with over 1,000 kilometers in range. GAC Aeon is the all-electric brand of Guangzhou Automobile Corporation Group that was founded in 1954 as a bus manufacturer. However, the GAC Aeon brand was established in 2017. Aeon is a sub-brand of the GAC group that specializes in electric cars and SUVs. The SUV portfolio of Aeon includes the models Y, V, and LX. The LX comes in almost 13 different variants with single and dual motor configurations, along with a maximum range model promising 600 kilometers. However, as it has been revealed, the Aeon LX Plus takes this range to another level. The GAC Aeon LX Plus is available in four variants, the 80 Zizhun Edition, 80D Ultimate, 80D Max Version, and 1000 Miles Edition. The 1000 Miles Edition is the showstopper as it is the only one offering a four-digit range. The 1000 Miles Edition EV features a massive 144.4 kilowatt-hour battery pack with an energy density of 205 watt-hours per kilogram and an NEDC range of 1,008 kilometers. It is worthy of note that the battery pack does not use solid-state battery technology, but it is based on traditional ternary lithium batteries with an NMA cathode and silicon sponge anode. And just for comparison, the batteries on the Tesla Model 3 have a density of 260 watt-hours per kilogram. The Ion LX Plus features a single-motor powertrain rate at 180 kilowatts. That is 241 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. This electric vehicle accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.8 seconds and reaches a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour. Despite its 144.4 kilowatt hour battery capacity, the size of the battery is similar to that of the LX's 95 kilowatt hour batteries. Simply put, the battery pack on the LX Plus will deliver more energy and range in the same size package as the current LX model. This is thanks to GAC's proprietary silicon sponge negative cell battery technology for giving it its compact dimensions. With the new battery technology and TR fact that it is not in a solid state, GAC claims that it can achieve up to 280 watt hours per kilogram energy density and it can reduce the size of the battery by 20% and its weight by 14%. Even though the standard LX has a density of up to 180 watt-hours per kilogram, this technology, which replaces traditional graphite anode materials with silicon-containing anode sheets inside the battery, is said to be as soft as a sponge. By using the new technology in the Aeon LX's current battery pack volume, the electric SUV's range is able to increase from 650 kilometers to 1,008 kilometers. And according to GAC, the cell technology is made up of more than 50 patents, and this development took over five years. In April 2021, the silicon sponge technology was showcased at Auto Shanghai. So in addition to delivering a compact battery size, the low temperature performance will also improve. And even after 1,600 charge cycles, the battery can retain 95% of its capacity, which is quite impressive. Our car of the hour, the Aeon LX Plus, offers a two-speed gearbox and a dual-motor setup that quickly accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.9 seconds. The LX Plus measures 4,835 mm long. 1,935 mm wide and 1,685 mm tall with a 2,920mm wheelbase. When compared to the Hyundai Ioniq 5 mid-sized electric SUV, the LX Plus is 200mm longer, 45mm wider, 80mm taller but has an 80mm shorter wheelbase. Back to the GAC's impressive driving range. Aeon claims that the LX Plus is by a wide margin the world's longest range production vehicle. 
However, it is debatable since the 625 mile range is calculated in the NEDC style and is known to be less strict than the EPA. At the moment, the longest range electric vehicle rated by the EPA is the Lucid Air Dream Edition range with 520 miles or 837 kilometers. It is still being speculated what the EPA rated range of the GAC Aeon LX Plus would be, but we may never know since this model is not sold in the United States. However, many believe that if compared, it would rate below Lucid Air's 520 mile range. But who knows, we may never find out. But regardless of the NEDC range and the fact that GAC Ion has revealed zero interest in expanding to other markets, their achievement is worthy of note because it unveils another Chinese automaker pushing the limits of electric vehicle range technology. Let's take a look inside the longest range production vehicle. The Ion LX Plus has a 15.6-inch central touchscreen infotainment system that dominates the dash and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster in front of the driver. It also features augmented reality satellite navigation, Napa leather seats, a 10-speaker Alpine-branded sound system, a Qualcomm 8155 chip, a wireless charging pad, dual-zone climate control, interior ambient lighting, panoramic sunroof and three LiDARs from RoboSense to allow assisted driving functions. Also, the Ion LX Plus is only produced in left-hand drive. The Ion LX Plus has a $72,000 price tag attached to it. It is even more expensive than the Tesla Model Y and for good reason. Though the LX Plus has no direct rivals thanks to its superior range, it should see a bit of competition from the Tesla Model Y, Ionic 5, and Kia EV6. Electric vehicle battery technology is developing rapidly all over the world, especially in China, along with leading companies such as Tesla, NIO, Xpeng, and Lucid, who are reaching new battery feats in terms of energy density, safety, and performance. It is expected that as time goes on, these technologies in EV will become common, and one day it will become less expensive for consumers. That alone is exciting news. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. For more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.